Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christians, haste your vows to pay. Make your joy and praise is known at the Paschal Victim's throne. For the sheep the Lamb has fled, sinless in the sinner's stead. Christ the Lord is risen on high, now he lives no more to die. Christ the victim undefiled, God and sinners reconciled, when in strange and awesome strife, met together death and life. Christians on this happy day, haste with joy your vows to pay. Christ the Lord is risen on high, now he lives no more to die. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Peter Riley and Hugh O'Malley. For the times we failed to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and was built up, living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit and increased in numbers. Now as Peter went here and there among all the believers, he came down also to the saints living in Lydda. When he found a man named Irenaeus, he had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Ananias, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, who heard that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us and do not delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? O Lord, I am your servant, the child of your serving girl. 
You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. What return can I make of the Lord for all that he gives to me? Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the people, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one who would betray him. He said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. We continue to read from John chapter 6, where Jesus clearly identifies who he is. And as we heard in last week's Metanoia, Father Dave reminds us that even though the teachings of Jesus at times are quite difficult, that we are nonetheless called to follow them because Jesus is God. Simon Peter's answer is a very beautiful one. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. It's a powerful statement, isn't it? Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Not just life, eternal life. Peter gets it for a while. We get it for a while. But just like for Peter, the storms, you know, faith is good, and then I'm in a rut, and then I come up again, and then I deny him, then I'm up again, and then... But yet Jesus continues to call Peter, and he calls all of us to himself. How powerful is this statement for us? Would this be my response to Jesus? Are you going to walk away as well? We see a world that continues to be more and more secular, falling away from God. Is that our response? Father Rico, I'm at Mass. Of course that's not my response. Yeah, but Mass is the easy part. For the most part, you just sit and say a few responses and pray before God. It's when we leave these doors that it becomes difficult, just like for Peter. Yeah, in front of Jesus, everything's fantastic. And then the trials of life get in the way, and that's where the roller coaster ride of faith becomes. But we truly need to understand this final statement in verse 69. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. That has to be transformative. If I believe that Jesus is the Holy One of God, then his teachings need to permeate my very being. And if what he says is true, then I should never be afraid because God is by my side. God is by my side, then I should never be afraid. Let us continue to not only hear the words of St. Peter's response to Jesus, but to live them. Let us pray. As we unite our hearts and prayers to God, we raise them to our Father in heaven. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all who minister in the church, 
May Christ's merciful love be their guide and strength, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to violence across and among nations. May the peace of Jesus prevail in every heart, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the terminally ill, may they find comfort in Jesus, present amidst their suffering, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have moved away from the practice of their faith. May the Lord enkindle their desire for him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician. For all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe. And for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again. We remember especially Peter and Hugh, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. That they may be welcomed into God's loving presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers to you, asking that you turn your gaze upon us and graciously answer our needs. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Peter and Hugh, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Peter, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Friends, the Masses for next week are, are available for you to sign up. Gentle reminder, please sign up for one Mass for the entire week, and it counts as your weekly um, worship of Jesus. Say, O oh, wandering Mary, say, what you saw along the way. I beheld two angels bright, empty tomb and wrappings white. I beheld the glory bright of the risen Lord of light. 
Christ, my hope, is risen again. Now he lives and lives to reign. Christ, who once for sinners bled, now the firstborn from the dead, throned in endless might and power, lives and reigns forevermore. Hail, eternal hope on high, hail, our King of victory, hail, our Prince of life adored, help and save us, gracious Lord. God bless you all.